Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Where the Heck Are the Albans and Where the Heck Are the Albans. We're still at home. I have to apologize if you hear crunching in the background, Kevin's eating his dinner. <laughs> He's eating it loudly. Anyway, I'm going to make another dish tonight for you, for you all and it's the Everything Bagel Dogs. Now, the recipe I'm about to show you is a little complicated, but it's not hard, it's just, it's lengthy. Also, the, the recipe that's below is double this recipe, so um, I just cut it in half. So, um, and I wrote it down in my phone so I would remember. Okay, first let's turn on our pot of water. And... 400 degrees. Okay. What you're going to need for this recipe are obviously some hot dogs, some store-bought pizza, pizza dough, if you want to make your own pizza dough, by all means. Knock yourself out. Uh, some everything but the bagel seasoning. I buy this at Trader Joe's. But I think uh, I saw it at Woodman's. Not this brand, obviously, but I've seen it at Woodman's. I've seen it at other stores. Cream cheese. Baking soda. The recipe calls for a malt syrup. I can't find it. I used molasses last time. It was fine. It worked out great. So, that is how... Oh, we're going to do an egg wash. So we need an egg. Alright, so you also need a slotted spoon and your measuring cup and probably uh, tongs. Alright, so, and a knife. A very sharp one. First, we're going to take our cream cheese. And... We are going to slice it up. I'm only going to use half of this cream cheese. I'll let Vivi have the other half for her morning bagel. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm, this is, calls for eight bagel dogs. The recipe does, but there's only three of us now. We don't have the you know. Right, Emerson home with us anymore. I don't think we told everybody. <laughs> Emerson has moved out. She is her own person now, and yeah. she doesn't. She moved out at the beginning of this week, which was the first of the month. Very sad day for, for Becky and Matt. Yes. Very upsetting. Well, I mean, it, we didn't leave on bad terms, but just still. Yeah. You want to keep them forever. Yes. But <laughs> She's almost 22 and you're like, why are you leaving me? <laughs> sometimes, though, God has good plans and starts giving them attitude so you want them out of the house. <laughs> all right, so, oops, whoa, all right, whoa, no, we're going to cut this in half. We're going to take this half. No, we're going to take this half. Because this one's already stuck to the knife. <laughs> and we're going to slice it up into four. One. Uh oh. Okay. Four. Four slices. And then we are going to take our dip towel. Wipe off my hands. We're going to take our pizza dough here. And we're going to cut it up into four equal pieces as well. And we are going to roll each piece into a, like a nine by four inch, nine by four inch rectangle. Now, getting this pizza, this pizza dough out of this Come on. There we go. Pizza dough. I'm sure I'm going to need a little bit of flour if I'm rolling this out. I recut the, uh... You recut the cheese? Yeah, kind of. Two were real, real thick. <laughs> Two were super thin, so. Okay. All right. Once again, messy hands. 
All right, so now I'm going to take my pizza dough. Just stick it. So do you roll it out or you just press it? I'm pressing it now and then I'm going to roll it. Oh. Da, 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 da. I can toss it like a... Like the, like the pizza man? Like the pizza man. All four I think. Well, we're gonna eyeball it so we're gonna say yes. So you're gonna take a cheese and put that that kind of in there. Seems like a lot of cheese. Maybe not so much cheese. This doesn't have a lot of cheese on it. So we can take this one. Okay. And we need a hot dog. You can use any old hot dogs. We use the Hebrew National. Because you know who. That's right. Someone in the family is allergic to pork. Who? <laughs> Me. You are? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> so how are you folding this? Or? I'm just pressing the edges together. Oh. Scooping all the hot dog in there. Making a big pierogi shell type of thing here. There we go. Look at that. Press them together. Press them together. You're open on this one. Just make sure they kind of stick together. So maybe a little water. Got a little water. Yeah. Just help it stick a little bit together. Yeah, because I had put flour on it to help it unstick. And now it's not sticking. All right, we got a bagel dog right there. All right. And then repeat that. Repeat that four times four or times. eight times, depending on how many you're making. All right. Okay, we're going to take our bagel dogs and we're going to put them on our on our cookie sheet, our parchment cookie sheet, and I've uh, greased this parchment paper. So, let me seam side down and probably squeeze those seams together. All right, we're going to cover them with a damp cloth and we're going to leave them for 10 minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Okay. See you in ten. All right. I'm just making an egg wash. Just uh, one lightly beaten egg with some water. Oh. But this egg is going to be difficult. <laughs> the things they don't show you. Well, on cooking channels. You should always crack your egg flat because then you don't get any shells in there. Of course, I did it on the rim because... Now, think of it. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so let me beat that. I already had some water in there. There we go. 
Okay, so now that these have rested for 10 minutes, we're gonna get rid of this. And we are going to put two bacon logs at a time into a simmering pot of boiling water. But we need to put in I can't remember if this is, a tablespoon of baking soda. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> and a tablespoon Science. of <sighs> our molasses. This is not gonna this is gonna be ugly. So we're just gonna Oh, it's slow as molasses. <laughs> spray your and then you don't get a mess okay stir that up now we're going to use two at a time our bagel dogs so one two it says one minute on each side so as you see they're not really floating up so I'll just put it on for two minutes come back in two minutes. When they come out, they're kind of rinky. Yeah. Like that. So there's the first two. And here are the and second two. The second two. And because of the molasses, they've got a, yeah, a little, little color tannish tone. tint to them. Take our egg wash that we made a minute ago, and we're gonna wipe these babies down. Gives it a glossy finish, basically. We're going to take our everything but the bagel seasoning. Now, if you don't like every, everything bagels, by all means, don't use it. You can put whatever you want on it. If you don't like cream cheese in your bagels, which I think is kind of a Chicago thing. Maybe it might be a Chicago <laughs> thing. But um, we like them. So you're going to pop these in a 400 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, and there they are. There you look have it. At that. Those look fantastic. Now they have to rest okay. for 15 minutes before you can cook. Okay. Or before you can eat them. Eat so. them. Got it. And I am just showing you this. We are not fancy tonight. Uh, we did it at the Bagel Dogs. A uh, little peek at the Bagel Dogs right there. Oh, yeah. Um, but uh, this is where uh, we're doing the uh, extra crispy, crispy crowns from All Rida. Ready in five minutes in the microwave. And they got one of those little, uh, like the crisping plate things. Uh, so they get crispy. And they do get crispy, yes. Uh, and they taste very good. And we are going to try this sauce. It's called Magnifa Sauce. It's a tangy sauce of secret proportions. Um, this is supposed to be in and out sauce. the In-N-Out sauce uh, from In-N-Out Burger, if you are familiar with the In-N-Out Burger from around California. Which we are not. But... Uh, we aren't, but uh, we're going to try this because everybody swears by it. And, they, and it, uh, this is... Uh, 
sold by Trader Joe's. Um, so we're going to give this a shot and we're going to eat it with our uh, with our extra crispy crispy crowns. And there we go. And that's how you make everything bagel dogs. Uh, the recipe will be down below. Once again, I cut it in half. Uh, the recipe will have what you need to make everything bagel um, seasoning. Like I said, I just buy it at the store. Um, I am serving it with uh, some hash browns or some tater tots. Crispy crowns is our favorite. And uh, that's it. So if you like what you see, give us a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Keep it safe, keep it sexy. And uh, if you need our P.O. box for any reason, it's listed below. We'll see you next time on Where the Heck Are the Elvins. Bye!